2015 ASID National Award winner, Lisa Marie Tucker. I love my profession because it's fun. I love working with students, I love design, and I love seeing what they can do that I may not have thought of. I think that design has always been a collaborative process, but I think that buildings and particularly with things like sustainability and biomimicry and some of the new things that have been going on in design require not only teams, but multidisciplinary teams, interdisciplinary teams. You have to know how to work with people that don't think the way that you think. And you know, it's not always gonna be a designer. When you're an educator, you can't design for your students. You can't answer questions for your students. You have to help them ask the right questions and be able to direct them towards answers, but you can't do it for them. Our students, in the first year, they learn how to use the wood shop and metal shop and 3D printers and the laser cutter, and then we're teaching a lot of the computer softwares. They're using Revit, SketchUp, the Adobe Suite, um, plugins for different energy modeling and all sorts of things. So they have to know a lot of things technologically. And a lot of the, like even new softwares, the um, lead rating systems, they require collaborative teams in order to be successful. There's always been a big focus on health and well-being and, you know, that human beings are productive and healthy in the spaces that we design. But we've also seen an increased emphasis on things like energy efficiency and um, being able to really design healthy buildings that are also sustainable. So that's a big part of an interior design curriculum. It covers a whole range of things like that. We spend 90% of our lives inside of buildings and everything you touch and see and use is essentially designed. And so interior design has a profound effect on people's lives.